hi guys welcome back to our channel and today I have a inspiration slash collaboration video for you guys I collaborated with Victoria Crawford here on YouTube I'm gonna link her channel and the video that we collabed on below we did an in Rihanna inspired look as you can see we did a black lip pretty neutral face and really really simple eyes and I think it came out really great I tried to do a little fun to match the picture I'll insert the picture here that we did and for my lips I don't have I had to buy this black lipstick because I don't really wear black lipstick but this is um the Ruby Kisses matte lipstick I have a couple from this collection and then for eyeline for lip liner I had to use a black eyeliner but yeah so this is the look it's really really simple besides the black lip like I didn't really do much blush I just did like um contour and bronzer and highlight but if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep on watching Bye. hey guys so I started by doing my brows and I primed my face off camera using the NYX eyebrow gel and my Becca Evermatte primer so I'm gonna go right into my eyes and I'm using the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer to prime my lids Because I've been obsessed with MAC's Uninterrupted Pro Longwear Eyeshadow, I'm going to just buff that into my crease, a little bit onto my lid. I'm going to just buff it all over my eye pretty messily because this eyeshadow isn't really precise. take NYX eyeshadow in Dance the Tides which is a dupe for MAC's Saddle eyeshadow. I'm going to just buff that more into my crease and a little bit on my lid too to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. In the picture it didn't seem like Rihanna had a lot of eyeshadow on just a little bit of browns in her crease and a little bit on her lid area but she had a really highlighted brow bone so I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt Duo and I'm going to use the highlighting side and just side? I'm going to use the highlighting side and just highlight the very arch. Studio eyeliner to just draw a thin line on my lash line and then I'm gonna smudge it out because it didn't seem like her eyeliner was defined it was pretty smoky taking a flat definer brush I think I got this brush from Target like a really long time ago but they may still have it but I'm gonna just buff out that eyeliner I have on my lash Foundation, as always, I'm sticking with my ride or die <laughs> L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the color 109 Classic Tan. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my Maybelline Dream BB Cream in dark, I believe. Once I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend out my foundation. I don't know what's wrong with me. I paid so much money for this beauty blender and I never want to use it because I don't want it to get worn out and I don't want to wash it. <laughs> so I never use it but I'm glad I did in this video because it really gave my foundation a really flawless look. And I'm going to just go over any areas that I think I need a little bit more coverage with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation because it is really full coverage. And for concealer, 
concealer I've really been enjoying this combination of the LA girl pro concealer and toffee and the better skin concealer by Maybelline in the color medium dry maybe I squeeze too much water out of it so I just spritz a bit a little bit of my Mario Badescu rose water spray on it I know the eyes look really boring right now I was thinking the same thing while I was filming it like I'm like oh, I really don't like the way this is coming out but at the end it turns out really good I actually wore this look two days in a row um, to work so it actually came out really good. I switched out the black lip for a nude lip because I wasn't going to wear black lipstick to work, but it turned out really nice. And I'm just baking all the highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup Powder, and I really like how it came out using the Beauty Blender. Usually I use like the little foam sponge thing, but I like the way it came out with the Beauty Blender. Techniques buffing brush and then to set all the other places on my face I'm gonna use my Mac select share press powder in the color NW 43 I've been liking this powder better than my L'Oreal true match lately I don't know if it's because it gives less coverage so it makes my foundation look less cakey but I've really been liking that lately And to get rid of that super powdery look on my face, I'm going to be using my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray once again. Yes, it's multi-purpose. I love it. And while my face is drying, I'm going to be setting my eyebrows with my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. And to contour my face, I, I went back to using my Black Radiance Pressed Powders in the color Rich Mahogany and Golden Almond. I also use those two colors to contour my nose. So I'm going to just carve out my cheekbones, put a little bit of that on my forehead, and on my jawline. my black radiance blush and toasted almond and this blush from ColourPop called Swift. It didn't really seem like Rihanna had much of a blush on but she had like a really bronze matte color on her cheeks so I mixed these two to get that combination. My under eyes weren't bright enough so I'm gonna take this coverall pressed powder from wet and wild in the color 10 and just place that right underneath my eyes to make it a bit brighter and for my highlight my favorite part this is the makeup forever pro sculpt duo number two and if you guys can get your hands on this highlighter, I totally, totally would because it's a two for one. You get a bronzer and a highlight in there and it's such a beautiful color. And I'm using my fan brush from Sonia Kashuk to apply the highlighter. And for mascara, I'm starting off by using this Dior um, Lash Plumping Serum and I'm going to also use my Sephora um, outrageous plumping mascara. I really hope my sister isn't watching this video because I totally stole that Dior mascara from her. And 
I didn't like the way the Sephora and the DR mascara were working together, so I took out my L'Oreal telescopic mascara to unclump my lashes. <laughs> And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to take this L'Oreal, I think it is, High Intensity Pigment Eyeshadow in the color Flare. I've had this eyeshadow for so many years and I refuse to buy another one. I'm going to use up every piece of gold eyeshadow inside of it. It's such a beautiful color in there and I love using it to highlight my inner corner or sometimes even highlight my brow bone. And so I'm going to dust MAC Uninterrupted Eyeshadow on my lower lash line. seem as if Rihanna had on lower mascara so I didn't add any but I'm gonna tight line my upper lash line with the Smashbox black eyeliner. I did my hair off camera really quickly just throw my hair up in a bun and put my bangs out but to prime my lips I'm gonna use this Bite Beauty lip primer and honestly I don't think it does much of a difference but it has like a nice minty feeling to it. To create that really matte black lip that Rihanna had, I'm going to use this matte black lipstick by Ruby Kisses. And to line my lips, I don't have a black lip liner, so I'm using a black eyeliner from CoverGirl, and I think it's called the Ink It Liner. But you can use whatever black liner you have. on myself but I really really love how the rest of my makeup came out so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye